हियर द क्वेश्चन इज फॉलोइंग इज द ट्रायल बैलेंस ऑफ श्री पारस ऑन 31 मार्च 2016 यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रिपेयर फाइनल अकाउंट्स आफ्टर गिविंग इफेक्ट टू द फॉलोइंग एडजस्टमेंट्स इन द बुक्स ऑफ श्री पारस ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फॉर द ईयर इंडेड 31 मार्च 2016 After drawing the format, we have to start from the credit side. That is, by sales rupees nine lakh eighty seven thousand eight hundred. Hence, we have to deduct uh, returns out of that. That is, sales return rupees six eight double zero. In the final column, we can have rupees six nine lakh eighty one thousand. Then the next one is by closing stock rupees sixty eight thousand. In the debit side, there is opening stock rupees fifty-seven thousand six hundred rupees, and to purchases that is rupees four lakh six thousand seven hundred fifty rupees, less purchases return rupees five thousand, and in the final column we will have rupees four lakh one thousand seven hundred fifty rupees, and the next one is to carriage and purchases that is rupees twenty thousand four hundred. Next is to wages that is one lakh four thousand eight hundred, and less cycle set twenty thousand. If I will explain you in this question, you can see the adjustment number Adjustment number four: Wages include a sum of rupees twenty thousand spent on construction of a cycle set. Hence, this cycle set wages will be deducted out of the normal business wages, ordinary wages, and it will be added to the building in the balance sheets asset side under the head fixed assets. And the final sum you can have rupees eighty four thousand eight hundred. The next one is to fuel and power that is rupees forty seven thousand three hundred, and you total the credit side is rupees ten lakh forty nine thousand. Write down in the debit side and find out the difference the gap. To gross profit carried down rupees four lakh thirty seven thousand one hundred fifty. In the profit and loss account we have to write down by gross profit brought down four lakh thirty seven thousand one hundred fifty. Then to salaries rupees one lakh fifty thousand, and our outstanding salaries. I will explain in this outstanding salaries. It is written salaries for the month of February and March rupees two thousand sixteen. We are not paid as per adjustment number five. Two months. Hence we have paid salary for ten months out of total yearly salary. If we have not paid for two months, we have paid for ten months. Hence, ten months salary is rupees one lakh fifty thousand. This one month one lakh fifty thousand divided by ten into two. I have by mistake written divided by twelve. This is not divided by twelve. Divided by ten. The monthly salary is fifteen thousand. And into two that is thirty thousand. Hence, outstanding salary is that is rupees thirty thousand. In the final column, we will have rupees one lakh eighty thousand. Next one is to insurance rupees six thousand. Insurance include that is adjustment six. Insurance include a premium of rupees seventeen hundred and a policy expiring on thirtieth September two thousand sixteen. To insurance less prepaid insurance for six months annual premium is rupees seventeen hundred. For six months it is six by twelve. That is equal to eight hundred fifty. This is prepayment. This will be deducted from insurance and will be shown under the head current assets in the asset side of the balance sheet. That is rupees five one five zero. Next one is to general expenses rupees thirty thousand. To new provision for bad debts rupees seven two five zero. Then to depreciation on machinery. That is machinery is twenty thousand. You can see. Third part of the adjustment: depreciate machinery by 10 percent, patent by 20 percent, building by 5 percent. Hence, 10 percent of 2 lakh rupees building. It is rupees 20 thousand. 
patents that is 20 percent that is rupees 15,000 and building rupees 16,000. How come? I will explain you later on. Hence the total depreciation will be in the final column rupees 51,000 and after that to carriage and sales that is rupees 32,000 and totaling in the credit side is rupees 4,37,150 and we have to deduct all expenses to find out to gross profit carried down before manager's commission because we have not calculated the manager's commission that is rupees 1,31,750. Take it to the credit side, distinguish this for manager's commission. Now read out, general manager is entitled to a commission of 10% on the net profit after charging his commission. Then to man outstanding general manager's commission, this is the profit into 10 by 110 that is equal to 850. How come, sorry, that is equal to 11,977. This 11,977 is the commission after charging his commission, net profit after charging his commission. That means, find out the commission in such a way that after charging his commission, whatever the profit will be there. Hence, uh, this uh, after deducting this commission, what will be the net profit? That's direct 10% will be 11,977. Hence, we have done like this percentage of a commission 10 by 110. Percentage of a commission upon 100 plus percentage of commission. And then the net profit will be the totaling rupees 1,31,750 minus 11,977. Rupees 1,19,773. Then come down to the balance sheet. Balance sheet as at 31st March 2016. Start from the asset side. Current assets. We have cash in hand rupees 5,400. Cash at bank rupees 26,300. Prepaid insurance rupees 850. Closing stock rupees 68,000. Sundry debtors rupees 1,45,000. Less new provision for bad debts, that is 7250. Next one, after deducting, we can have rupees 1,37,750. Then fixed assets, after that, machinery is rupees 2 lakh. Less depreciation, 10%, that is rupees 20,000. We will have rupees 1,80,000. Then patents, rupees 75,000. 20% of this, that is rupees 15,000. Less depreciation 15,000, we will have rupees 60,000. And in the final, the last one will be building rupees 3 lakh. Less add cycle shed. Cycle shed is a, a construction and it is included in wages. We have deducted from wages and adding it to building. That will be 3 lakh 20,000. And we will be charging 5% depreciation not on 3 lakh, but on 3 lakh 20,000 for the whole year that is rupees 16,000 and in the final column we will have rupees 3 lakh 4,000. The next one your freehold land right that is rupees 1 lakh and the totaling is rupees 8 lakh 82,300. In the credit side we will have current liabilities under this sundry creditor is rupees 63,000 then outstanding salaries is rupees 30,000. Outstanding Manager's Commission that is rupees 11,977. Long term liabilities and capital. Capital is rupees 7,10,000. Add net profit that is 1,19,773. Less drawings that is rupees 52,450. In the final column we will have 7,77,323. Next one is totaling is rupees 8,82,300. This is the final answer.